the stage for music and opera has always been an important place for depicting and enlightening social and political issues. It still is. One of the most powerful people in this category today is the American director, Peter Sellers. Somewhere in music is one part of a song or one little moment that unlocks what's locked in your heart and allows that door to open. That's an incredible moment when you meet that one piece of music that's been waiting for you. Peter Sellers was born in 1957 in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, USA. He was only 10 years old when he started his theatrical career as an apprentice at a marionette theater and was exposed to the world of myth and fairy tales. Sellers started directing while still an undergraduate at Harvard in the early 80s. Since then, he shared his visions with many of the foremost musicians and composers of our time. Well, Peter reads scores better than most musicians. When we did our very first production, he came and directed Debussy's Pelias and Melisande, all of which he directed from full orchestral score in which he had written nothing. I thought, okay, this man's a musician. Freeze! It should feel like you're trapped for the next 50 years wishing that night you could have said something. One of Peter Sellers' closest collaborators is contemporary opera composer John Adams. As a team, they've created a number of new operas and oratorios, such as Dr. Atomic, Nixon in China, and most recently, The Other Mary. So you're here to receive. There's nothing more exhilarating than making new things. Yay! Hey, everyone. That's it, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's it. The joy and pride of my life to be able to work with John Adams and to say, here's a body of work that did not exist before we were born, and now here it is. And these are pieces that are pretty wonderful right now, but will actually get better later. Seller's stagings of classics in a contemporary setting have received great critical acclaim and at the same time stirred up some controversy. One famous example is his staging of Mozart's opera Don Giovanni, which he set in the rough drug district of Spanish Harlem. I think we're here as artists to challenge, to challenge ourselves and to challenge everyone around us. And, you know, I certainly don't do the Mozart operas to provoke anyone. On the other hand, you know, the received tradition of Mozart when I was a kid was so musically not interesting. And you just can hear that they're trying to say way more than what they were being allowed to say. These people are on a deadline. The best way to honor Mozart is to bring a whole lot of next into the room. Among others, Sellers has worked successfully together with former Polar Prize laureates Kaya Sariho and the Kronos Quartet. The Kronos, of course, set the great example for everyone, is music is not about the past, music is about the future. Music is about shaping a world that we want to live in. And the Kronos are so spectacular at doing that, and thank God we're living in the world that they're shaping. The director, Peter Sellers, is a living definition of what the Polar Music Prize is all about. Ah, ah. Highlighting the music and presenting it in a new context. Here's this beautiful list of astonishing musicians we all not just admire, but who stand for the most spectacular human values. I was thrilled, I'm still thrilled, I'm beside myself, I'm shocked. <laughs> 